Shalom. Kahala Yahweh. Shema Mashiach. Mamalaki Yahweh Shah. And peace and blessings to all the so called Native Americans, Hispanics, and Black people who we call Israelites today. And today is a very, very special thing I have for y'all. Um, as you can see above me, uh, I'm starting a new thing. I'm starting a new, 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 whatever you want to call it, because I see on my comment board these scoffers and these Christians. They'll say all this, all they'll they'll put 400 comments, 400 statements. But when I ask them, do you want to have a personal conversation or, or a proper dialogue? They either ghost me or they say they don't want to talk. They're too scared to talk. And we know the Bible says uh, to prove all things. And it also says, uh, be ready to give a man an answer. Give, be ready to give an answer to a man to ask him. Um, so now... Says I can't get these Christians, and this is the title, Christians Say the Darnest Things. This is volume one. I'm just going to post what they say since they, they don't want to have a conversation with me. I'm just going to make a whole video about them. They're not going to be long, five to ten minutes apiece, but we're going to expose the, the dumbest things that these Christians have been saying. And since it's your fault, because you had plenty of opportunities to have a, I gave you my email, I've given you every opportunity to have a conversation with me. And since you don't want to have a conversation with me, I'm going to talk about you on my channel. Let's start with the first guy. But before I, I get into what he said, I'm gonna show you the person's channel because this is how I'm gonna do every single one of them. Since you don't want to talk and you don't want to, you don't want to have a dialogue with me. I'm gonna put your channel up here so you can see what you said, and I'm just gonna talk about you here since you have plenty of opportunities to come and talk to me. Well, let's see what this guy named Jim Jeru has to say. And let's let's Christians say the dumbest things. Uh, but this is his page. Majority of them only have one subscriber, or two or three. So we're going to check out. Let's read what, 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 this, what this guy said, okay? All right, y'all. Because, hey, buckle up because it's going to get crazy. I promise y'all, just, just buckle up and bear with me. Okay, let's read what he said. Um, Jim Drew, taking bits of scripture to make a point is strange. Hmm. Remember, remember he said this, y'all. Remember that he said this part right here. Here is what the full scripture says. And remember, he made this a point. He made it a point to say, uh, you can't use bits and pieces, even though in Isaiah 28, 9, it says, here a little, there a little. These, these folks are nuts. But let's read. He, put, he posted John 11 and 51. And Caiaphas, because I'm sure he doesn't know how to say the name. Chi he said Caiaphas did not say this. However, because we're going to pull this. <laughs> these, uh, however, of his own originality, but because he was the high priest that, that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die, was to die for the nation. Verse 52, not only for the nation, but also together unto the one children of who's the scattered about, 53. So from that day on, they conspired to kill him. Yo, okay, tell me you're a Christian without telling me you're a Christian. Dude, what are you talking about? And why, when y'all do this, y'all don't ever post the full scripture? You post part of it and then write in, in between it. That's how I know you ain't even standing on your road. Let's, re let's read what else he said. Jesus was promised by God for all nations. You notice he didn't put a Bible verse for that. He said Jesus was God for all nations. Let's keep reading. God's promise to Abraham, who was not an Israelite, nor a Jew. Notice, this is what y'all's problem is. Y'all don't go to the scriptures. You just talk. You just say things. I'm going to let y'all know what I said in my rebuttal right here. Let me see my couch right there. I don't know if I can get it to clear. I guess not. But anyways. Oh, okay, there it is. Now, ah, this is the first episode, so bear with me. I'm trying to get, because what I said is hilarious. I just want y'all to see it. Hold on, let me, let me pause it and see if I can get it to stop. Okay, that's much better. Hopefully, that's recording and... You got it. Okay, but let me, let me, let me I'm going to read y'all rebuttal because I'm about to confound the absolute mess out of Jim. This dude is crazy. They got no Bible verses written in anything. And then he went to Genesis 22, by all means of offering the nations of the earth to obtain a blessing for themselves. A blessing, listen to me, uh, Jim, a blessing isn't salvation. God blessed a lot of nations. He blessed, uh, he blessed our, uh, you, Esau, with the fatness of the earth. He blessed Ishmael with many kings and princes. A blessing isn't salvation. Let's continue to what I said. The hypocrisy. You literally just said 
You literally just said I was using bits and pieces, yet you proceed to do the same thing. Damn hypocrite. And that's a lot of you Christians. A lot of you Christians are hypocrites. You literally are telling me I'm doing bits and pieces, but you proceed to do the same thing in your response. The hypocrisy. These Christians are out of control, dude. Uh, left mouth off. Uh, you have no idea what you're talking about. And the scripture you pulled goes against you. And I'm about to show you how the scripture he went goes against him and everything he believes in. So what, what I got pulled up right now, I got John 11. We're going to get full context because this guy claiming that he... He po there's a full scripture and didn't even post the full damn scripture. This is crazy. It didn't even post it. It didn't even say what it says in the script. I, look, let's read it. This is John 11. And I'll start at 47. And then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. That man is Yahweh Shah, who y'all call Jesus Christ, who y'all be disrespecting. Uh, the Pharisees are saying, If we let him alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take him away, uh, take away both our places in the nation, because the Pharisees were, they were worried that if he doing these many miracles, they're going to lose their following, and they're going to use their place in Rome. So now, let's get to where he tried to post and try to say his, his craziness. And one of them, named Caiaphas, being a high priest that same year, said unto them, ye know nothing at all, talking to the Pharisees. He's not talking to non-Israelites, uh, Gentiles or Greeks or anything like that. He's literally talking to other Israelites. This is verse 50. Nor consider that it is expedient for us, for us, the, the Pharisees, the, the, the Jews, not everyone, us, that one man should die for the people. He didn't even put that in his response. He said something else. For the, being deceptive, that's what a lot of y'all do, being deceptive, uh, for the people and that the whole nation perish not. What nation is that talking about? Is that talking about everyone? Because that's what you're trying to say in your po in your response. You're trying to say that this talking about everyone. But it says, for that nation perish not. That nation is the Israelites, okay? Not everyone. Confound it. That's the third time you've been cut up. Um, verse 51. And this spoke he not of himself, because the Most High was coming through him, because he's a Jew, and the Jew and Most High speaks through us. Uh, but... Being a high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation. Um, so, jury or whatever, Jerry, whatever your name is. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. If you want to come and have a conversation with me, we can. But, brother, you are confounded and cut. You have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm going to expound further. Let's, let's expound further. And sorry if you're seeing my, my leather couch in the background. It's just I'm trying a new thing. This is a new Christian say the darnest thing. This is episode one of many because I got so many of y'all making stupid comments on here. Let's read the last, let's read the verse that was cut off. Uh, and not only for that nation, but that he should get that he here's his point that he also should gather together one of the children of God who were scattered abroad. So you telling me every every nation was scattered abroad? His children are scattered abroad. We can read in James one and one. That the Israelites were scattered abroad. Like, bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Jim? Let's go down further. Then from that day forth, they took counsel together to put him to death. So you telling me that the, the Pharisees got together to put him to death because he was going to die for everyone? Bro, what are you talking about? Bro, you are retarded and you don't know what you're talking about. I see why you don't want to have a conversation with me because you're going to get cut up and confounded. This is madness. Christianity is a drug. If you are not an Israelite, this is not for you. Okay, period. This is why you give me the understanding that you have and you sound utterly ridiculous. But yeah, this is the uh, volume one. It's a, you know, a quick cut on these devils or these heathens or whoever you are because you don't want to be a man and have a face-to-face -face dialogue with me as the scriptures say to do. So I'm going to be coming at y'all in this way. I ain't about to be here and sit and arguing back and forth, trying to transfer emails. If you don't want to have a conversation right then or whenever you, we can have one, I'm just going to do a video on you. And you are more than welcome after you see this to dialogue with me. We can go further into this. But brother, you have no idea what you're talking about and you're cut confounded. Let's go back over. It says, for that whole nation perish not. Does that say everyone? Like how you're trying to put it? Are you adding to the word? Where, where in this is to say everyone? And why would a high priest um, say he has to die for that nation? What's that nation mean? It mean, that, it doesn't mean that, that nation doesn't mean everyone. So you're cut, you're confounded. Whenever you grow a pair, 
hit me back and we can have a proper dialogue. If not, this will just sit up here and just show how stupid and ignorant you are. Um, all praises to the Most High. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimon Mashiach. Why don't Yahweh Shah? Big ups to all the brothers out there pushing the truth. Big, big, big shout out to Sakari. Big shout out to all the camps out there putting in the word. But yeah, just this is a new thing. Christians say the darnest things. If you say something stupid on my comment board and I ask you to have a conversation with me, you gonna be a, you don't want to have a conversation, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put you on here. I'm going to put you on blast. I'm going to put your channel on blast and everything. Peace and blessings to all and shalom. Oh, and don't forget to uh, subscribe, share, do all those good things for your boy. And like the video that helps get my algorithm out there. Big shout out to the thousand followers I do have. Big shout out to people who's been watching the videos. I love y'all, okay? I love y'all. Peace and blessings to all, okay?